Rapper Rick Ross spent the day in Fayette County courtroom arguing self-defense in a kidnapping and assault case. It stems from an altercation with groundskeepers who insisted they did nothing to prompt the attack. Channel 2's Nicole Carr live outside the Fayette County Courthouse, where a judge had a message for Rick Ross. Uh, this new presiding judge warned Ross against posting about the case and the prosecutor on social media. Uh, both sides in this case agree the people who filed this complaint had a right to be on the property. The question is, did their company and was Ross caught off guard? Rapper Rick Ross and manager Adrian James left a Fayette County courtroom early Friday afternoon. They'll return next month in hopes of proving Ross pistol whip grounds keepers out of self defense. It's pitch black in this room. He calls out, no one responds. We've learned the attack happened in Ross's guest house during the summer of 2015. Mr. Ross is feeling his way against the wall, and as he hits over here, somebody touches him. He immediately reacts by hitting. Reaching out and hitting that person. Celebrity defense attorney Steve Sadow says the message to the rest of the group was clear. He orders everybody outside the house. Ross, whose real name is William Roberts, also had support from industry friend DJ Khaled in the courtroom. While prosecutors called foul on his defense's account, they say not only did Ross know who was there, they basically lived on, at the guest house. Uh, Full time. But he allowed them to have family over for a birthday celebration. Instead, prosecutors say he beat the workers and scared their family members, including small children. And the defendant, William Roberts, was waving the gun at both herself as she was seated in her, in her car with her child. Sadow now wants phone records from a Fayette County deputy involved in a traffic stop that led to drug possession charges for Ross after the alleged attack. It appears to be an attempt to show Ross's celebrity has led to profiling and all of this trouble. An attorney cited a family emergency which ended proceedings until April 4th. Live in Fayette County, Nicole Carr, Channel 2 Action News.